Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Minecraft. I'm the Marmoset, and we are mostly cut off <laughs> from the way out. So we're just going to have to do this the old-fashioned way and dig our way out. So most of this episode will be spent in darkness. Uh, I have no idea how much YouTube's compression algorithms so are going to turn this into pitch darkness, but we'll just have to find out. Hopefully we won't find ourselves graveled to death, because we are, you know, digging essentially straight up. Hopefully I have enough pickaxes, wood, and other bits and pieces to get out of this. Well, at least going to get plenty of stone out of this little raid. Not that's what we were looking for. What we were looking for is iron. So we have iron, and the coal we've got, or iron ore, and the coal we've got, we can start making metal weapons, metal tools, like shearings and buckets. And we can move our little farm somewhere more useful. And we can be, you know, not starving. We build our own little farm next to our little hole. I suppose and with all the amount of digging we're about to be doing here, I should be able to do the position where I can start the process of actually making our little hole more substantial. I keep calling it the little hole. Oh, dirt. Dirt is good. Dirt doesn't pick up so much of my pickaxe. Uh, that's still apparently rock there, though. Uh, let's do a pickaxe merger. Merge those pickaxe high. I hear the chicken noise. That's still rock. That's dirt. That's also dirt. That's rock. Dirt. 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 The sky! That didn't take us too long. It's only only a few minutes, three or four minutes of the episode to dig our way out of that hole. There we go. Well, it's a pretty waterfall in the back of that. And there's our little crops growing. Another egg! It'll have your egg. Oh, it is a pretty waterfall, isn't it? I wonder. What's on the other side of here? Which is a little bit of exploring. Just a little bit. Not much. Ooh, it does go down off that way. It's certainly a, quite an impressive river we've got. So we'll push that next to. Nice. There's a pumpkin on the top of that. I'm just going to leave that as a bit of geography. I'm going to do a little bit of hydrogen now or so. I always find it a bit weird that the um, waters are tend to just die off quite so quickly. And to my head it really should make its way down to the There we go. You're gonna make it all the way to the river? Not quite. There we go. Squid, squid, squid. Alright. Mm, grumpy noises. That's what everyone wants. Sheep noises. Hmm, let's have a look. I'm just gonna go around the mountain. And the mountain we go. I'm assuming the river does go around. I see a slightly different biome over there. It's uh Woo! There's a village. Alright. We'll be going and saying hello to that in a bit. In fact, I am kind of tempted to just flat out decamp. We're gonna go live with the villagers. Build a wall around the village to keep them safe, but hmm. Yep, that's what we're doing. We're decamping. We found a village, we're gonna go live there. So, in order to do that, basically we need to rip up everything that is currently ours, and then we're off. We're gonna go live with the villagers. Why am I holding down my little place? Well, because I want to. Probably ideally I should do this once I've found a bed and the materials for a bed. But having found a village, 
that is where we will make our little hole. A little hole, a little home. We're just going to go and explore said village. Comforting, actually, Minecraft. Gentle relax during the day, at least a gentle relaxation of just dig, 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 mine and digging, mining a crafting. Really, I broke that bugger. Wasn't paying attention. Could have got a few extra uses out of that. Come on. Is the door going to despawn when I get rid of the rest of the things that are around it? No, apparently not. Doink. Alright. Chest. Thing. Collection of other things. Right. Well, we've got a fair amount of adventuring. Don't need that. A lot of it up. So my inventory is pretty full, but we can now begin our progress. Oh, before we do that, uh, that's crouch run is what I wanted. We should just quickly dip over here. Did we get any bones? No, we didn't. And use our hoe. We can grab that a lot. So we got a bit of wheat and some seeds. And now it is nearing the darkening times again. Let's make our journey to our new home as fast as we possibly can. It was this way, I think. I used to have decided it was this way. Yes, because I can see the green of crops over there, and there's a little house. Oh. So there's the eye I've been looking for. Oh, he's an unhappy little mongoose, isn't he? You think even if we would keep trying to give him what he wants, he'd be happy, little boy. But no, he's very determined to be grumpy about everything. Hmm. All right, so the river. Oh, pigs! I see pigs. It's the river that I saw starts here. So that means the river that I spawned next to is a different one to this one, or this one weaves around quite a bit. Half moon. Well, thankfully, squids are hostile. Cows. Spider. 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 No, that's actually a horse. I wonder if this village is large enough to have any defenders. I hit the horse. And a zombie village. White horses. The creepers sit on top of that. More spiders. Oh dear. I'm going to die out here, aren't I? So very far 
away from everything. With no health, <laughs> no recourse, nothing but, you know, just doom. Alright, that was a tiny baby zombie. So, alright, um, looks like we're starting again! <laughs> Alright, so, um, hello, I'm the Marmoset, and welcome to Minecraft. Um, right, first thing we need to do is punch some wood. And then maybe go and see the villagers when during the day. How much dark have we got left? Oh, it's not even midnight yet. Joy and fun. Forgotten how much pain in the arse starting up in Minecraft was. Just the, the just the time you spend just sat around going, well, I can't do anything. Why? It's dark and thus dangerous. All right, punch wood. Oh, you're watching the, you're watching this from the entertaining side of my voice. I, I, my, my ability to succeed at anything. All right. Didn't look like, look like the village was particularly safe as it was anyway, seeing as it was completely overrun. By monsters, a very brief, brief glint we got of it before I was killed by a tiny zombie. Alright, so. There's spawn point is apparently down there. So the thing I'd probably do is just build a door in the a, an internal staircase up to where I'm going to be hiding. Alright, alright, having had a quick think about it, um, first things first. Make all of that into this. Then make a crafting bench. Place the crafting bench. Make sticks. Have sticks. Make pickaxe, retrieve, equip. Uh, really? <laughs> you couldn't have left me alone just long enough to make a weapon. <sighs> oh, you annoying creature. Uh, Well, I did have a sword. <laughs> Hopefully, now that he's down there, it might take him a little bit longer to get back up. No, no, I didn't. I think at least that'd be slightly faster than a bloody zombie, wouldn't it? Oh, and now a creeper. You know what? I'm just going to be resigned to my fate. I'm just going to die horribly. I might as well just do some digging while I wait for the inevitable explosion. Some more drops. If I can recover these in a bit. Well, I think the creeper fell down the hole. Yes, it did. Oh, I've got, uh, that was more swords than I really wanted. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, now I've got a lot of swords, thanks to that misclick. I have all of the swords. I have four swords. So now I apparently need... Oh, 
more of this stuff to make myself anything that would be useful. I'm not quite sure what I want to do in terms of my hole. I think I just want to basically get myself out enough that I can survive the trip during the day over to the village. And it will soon be dawn. But in the interim, I'm going to take my unique possessions thus far, dump them in there, and go and kick the cute creeper in the face. Where are you? No, no, the the grind will do. <laughs> That's how weak I was. And now you've kicked me out into the water. All right, you keep moving me slightly further back each time. That means the creeper's still around. I was kind of hoping I could get the guy to blow up. I want this back. And I want this back. And I think I, we're just going to go with a nomadic style for a little bit. I feel like we do a little bit of research on how to, you know, not die horribly the entire time. Ow. <laughs> Thank you for that, Mr. Skeleton. And go underwater for a little bit. Nope, apparently that doesn't help either. Really? That's it. Burn, you bastards. <laughs> oh no, the one in the water. That's being put out by the water. And he's in the shade. And there's yet another creeper. At least that one's burned out. This is um, <laughs> harder than I remember. You do get seeds. Reeds also potentially useful. So somewhere along here is where I died. Really? Have I lost it? Have I managed to misplace it all already? You see, I vaguely seem to remember that stuff would survive just a little bit of water. You know, just a little bit. And I've lost my swords. All I have now is some sugar cane. Nope, it's not there, is it? Unless I managed to get slightly further around before I fell in the drink and died. Nope, no, it's gone. Alright, let's just try and head towards said village and just have an explore of that. We'll have a look around that next episode. Spend the range of this one, just desperately trying to get somewhere. Alright, so that dries out into a lake with a selection of very pretty flowers. Does that river then continue or is it just a lake? There are the pigs. Looks like it does continue, so there's a little bit of a dry spot. Do the terrain, just a line of ends. Yes, I know. And there's the village. And a great big plain of pig. It's a pig plain. More terrain. Nope. So if I get desperate for food, I can just start slaughtering the wildlife. But I was hoping to, you know, at least grow my own bread. Alright, let's go and have a look at this village. There are the horses, who did, who are absolutely no help of being utterly mobbed by monsters. Have you got, <laughs> yes you do. There's a canyon running right through the middle of the village. I think that was a village noise. I imagine they probably are a bit grumpy. Most of them have probably plummeted to doom. <laughs> it's 
So it's put the canyon in and then decided that this would be a good place to put some villages. So this dude's front door is, um, you know, leads directly out into Doom. And this is apparently meant to be a roadway. And there we have blessed, blessed food. None of which has grown yet, so we'll worry about that later. I will have a just some more eggs. Yes. Mm -hmm. You want paper, okay? <laughs> I'm surrounded by creatures going. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's a slightly curious noise. You're a farmer. All right. Well, this looks like it might be a slightly place, safer place to spend the night, or at least start rebuilding from. I will probably make myself a little wooden, let's have a little metal hut, or so something. Basically, just something. I will start again from here. It's, ooh, there's like the the fort here. It might not be anyone living in here. Yes, there is. And you are the cleric. Nice. Fair enough. Do you mean that when I inevitably die again, I will get hunted back somewhere else. So I wonder what that as a topping is then on the brick. Yeah. You're the toolsmith. Or the fisherman. The village is ruined, mate. Let's just be the smith with a forge and some lava. And the chest, which is full of things, including iron horse armor, iron pickaxes. An unimaginable number of saplings. I will leave him with his gold. And I'll just yeah, you have the horse armor, but I'm stealing these things. Inventory. Armor. I will now die a lot less. And some food. All right. All right. Now that I've managed to achieve somewhere where I am going to die, just vastly, endlessly, and immediately. Thank you very much for watching, gentlemen. I have been the Marmoset. This has been Minecraft. We found a village. We found friendly people. They go nah, and they don't want to kill us. It's better than nothing, given the number of times I've died already. Bye for now.